Hi, I'm Anisha and I've got a GitHub feature for you to check out. So if you've been following along the GitHub changelog posts, you've seen all of the amazing new features that we've been shipping recently. But for these videos, we'll be hearing more from the folks that have actually built these features and see a working demo of them too. So for this video, we'll be hearing more from Evie, who'll be telling us more about the discussions public API, which is currently in beta. Evie, over to you. Thanks, Anisha. So hi, my name is Evie, and I'm a product manager here at GitHub on GitHub Discussions. Discussions is a collaborative communication forum that allows community members to ask and answer questions, share updates, and have open-ended conversations. To get started with Discussions today, you can enable Discussions under Manage Features in the repository settings. So today, I'm going to be demoing how to use the GitHub Discussions GraphQL API that enables you to get, create, edit, and delete discussion posts. You can use any GraphQL client for this or any other method you normally use to hit GraphQL endpoints, but for the purposes of today's demo, I'm going to be using GraphEQL. Great, so over in GraphEQL, make sure that you have the appropriate headers enabled for GitHub Discussions API. So in this case, the header name would be GraphQL-features, and then the header value would be Discussions API. Once that's been added and you hit the appropriate GraphQL endpoint for GitHub, then we're ready to start making query requests for discussions. So for this first one, we're going to do an example of getting the categories for a specific discussions repository. So over here, I have my test repository. So that's the name of the repository. And I'm also the owner. And so this query is calling for discussion category. So it's getting the first 10 and we see here we're getting the name. We can also get the ID and let's also get whether or not this is an answerable category. Um, so let's go ahead and hit run. And there we go. We see in JSON format for this particular repository, we have four categories. We've got general, which is a open-ended conversation, so not answerable. We have a Q&A, which is answerable. We've got the ideas category, which is not answerable. And we've got show and tell, which is also not answerable. So that was a quick and easy way to just see what categories you have in a certain repository. All right, and for this next demo, I'm going to be showing how you can get the discussions themselves from a certain repository. So for purposes of this demo, I'm looking at the Vercel next.js repository. And let's just say we wanna get the first 20 discussions from them. Um, so here we're getting the title. We can also see who the author is and whether or not we have an answer chosen at for this particular discussion. So let's go ahead and run that and see what that looks like. And there we go again, super fast, obviously. Um, so these are the first 20 discussions that we see in the Vercel next.js repository. Um, and these are just the most recent ones that we've seen. And you can also see whether or not there's an answer chosen for each of these. And we can see most of these have not had an answer chosen yet, uh, but this one does. So super quick and easy way to just get some data on the repositories that you care about with discussions. And for this last example, I'm going to be showing how you can use a create mutation to import data into discussions themselves. So this one is a create mutation for creating discussions to seed your repository with existing content. So in this example, I'm using my test repository. So I previously got this repository ID from GraphQL endpoints and then category ID, which I showed in the first demo, which you can get category information from. Um, so you would fill in the body. So let's just say test discussion and then a title, which we can say demo for GraphQL. And once that's filled in, super simple, let's go ahead and run it. And we see here that this discussion was created. And if I actually go into that repository, we'll see that that discussion is live and there and ready to go. So Evie, I've got a question for you then. What other mutations are available on the discussions GraphQL API? Yeah, so for the first iteration, we have create discussion, update discussion, edit, add discussion comment, update discussion comment, and delete discussion comment, as well as marking an answer or unmarking his answer. So that's just the first iteration that we have available. But if you have other mutations that you'd like to see, let us know in the feedback and we'll add them on. Great. So now that the GraphQL API is available, are we going to have discussions webhooks as well? Oh, great question. So yes, we've definitely heard feedback from many maintainers and communities that webhooks would be super valuable to have on discussions as well. So I can tell you this, our team is currently hard at work at implementing webhooks. So stay tuned and you'll see them soon. 
Perfect. Thanks, Evie. So go ahead and check out this new feature and let us know what you think about it, as well as any other features that we've shipped recently as well. And if you like these videos, go ahead and subscribe and you'll see more checkout videos coming your way very soon.